Welcome to tutorials in hand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to see what is truth table and we will also understand how to write one, two, three or four input truth table. So first thing is what is truth table? So truth table is actually a tabular representation which represents the combination of values for input and their corresponding outputs. For example, if you see this truth table that is represented on the right side of the screen here it is a three input truth table here we have three inputs and based on these inputs it depends like what kind of logic gate this truth table is implementing so based on that we will have certain outputs over here now as you see each input is represented in the binary form that is either 0 or 1 so we can use only binary numbers in truth table as you are seeing over here in the sample truth table for three input right and at the same time truth table has input and output of every logic gate means this is the input which will be there for any logic gate you want to write but if it is and logic then the output will be different for each of these input if it is or logic gate then the output will be something else if it is zor nand nor and depending on any kind of logic gate this output will be different right we will understand about those things what will be the respective output for each and every logic gate in some other video tutorial but for now just understand if you have to write a truth table it would look something like this and now looking at this you might be scratching your head like what is going to be the exact procedure of writing these truth table for any logic gate because it is just in the binary form of zeros and once but how you are going to arrange it in the rows and column which is shown over here and for how many inputs what number of rows are going to be there which is also a question mark right but don't worry about that there is a formula that tells how many rows you need to have for any number of input so the formula is 2 to the power n n represents the number of input that you are going to have in your logic gate for example this is a three input truth table right so the formula tells that 2 to the power 3 is going to have eight rows and if you count the number of rows you will see that it will have eight rows and similarly for one input you will have different number of rows for two input you will have different number of rows so what exactly this truth table does truth table is a diagram in rows and column as you see it is in rows and column that shows output from all possible combinations so these are the possible combinations 0 0 0 is one combination 0 0 1 is one combination 0 1 0 is one combination and so on you will have different combinations and based on those combinations combinations you will be getting certain output right so this is what truth table is now let's understand how many rows each truth table is going to have for example if we go by the formula for one input truth table if there is just one input then you are going to have two rows for example just see this this is for one input truth table here you have just one input where the combination is zero and one and for that you will have certain output based on what you want this is generally representation of the not gate okay so you will need this while writing the truth table for not gate so we will discuss that in future there is another one like two square for two input so two to the power n the formula that says here so we have two input for two input we will have four rows for three input we will have eight rows so for two input if you want to see you are going to have truth table something like this this is a two input truth table now let's understand how you are going to plot this one how you are going to write the combination of these inputs so the very simple thing is that when you are writing the two input truth table or any input truth table what you have to do is just check how many rows you need to create here it is a two input so you need to create four rows right so half of the four rows is going to be zero and half is going to be one so half of four is 
is 2. So, 2 rows will have 0 combination and 2 rows is going to have 1 combination. And for the next input, what you are going to have is the rows that has 0 over here is 2 rows, right? So, half of it is going to have 0 and half of it is going to have 1. And that is why you see input 1 is 0, 0, 1, 1 and input 2 is 0, 1 because we have 2 rows of 0. So, here we will have half of the rows that has 0 as 0 and half as 1. So, half of 2 is 1. So, 1 row is 0, 1 row is 1. So, we get the combination 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this is how you can create truth table for 2 input or 3 input. If you go for 3 input, we will have 8 rows. So, the first row, here it is for 4 input. So, it is having 16 rows. 3 rows we have already seen in the very first slide for this one where we had 8 rows and for 8, 4 will be zeros and 4 will be 1. And then, in the next input, what we will do? We will check the zeros. So, 4 rows has 0. So, next is going to have 2 row as 0 and 2 row as 1. Since 2 rows as 0 and 2 rows as 1. And now, since it has 2 rows as 0, so in the third input, what we are going to have is half of it is going to be 0, half of it is going to be 1. So, we get the combination as 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, it is very simple. It's very, very simple, right? So, you can plot for any input truth table and let's move add to 4 input and you will see there are 16 rows for 4 input so for 16 rows 8 rows for the first input is going to be 0 and 8 rows for first input is going to be 1 and then we have 8 rows as 0 for the first input so half of it is going to be 0 and half of it is going to be 1 in the second input similarly for the other half you will have 4 rows as 0 and 4 rows as 1 and then if you go to input 3 you will have 4 rows as 0 so half of it is going to be 0 and half of it is going to be 1 so half of 4 is 2 so 2 rows as 0 and 2 rows as 1 2 rows as 0 2 rows as 1 and this will follow on till the 16th row and then since we have input 3 as 0 0 so half of 0 is going to be 0 and half is going to be 1 so we have the combination as 0 1 0 1 0 1 and it will follow on till the last and this is how we can plot for 4 input truth table. Similarly, you can try to plot for 5 input truth table, 6 input truth table but anyways, in exams you will maximum get up to 4 or 5 input. 5 input is also very rare but till 4 input you can get to write the logic means you may get to write the truth table for the logic gates, right? So, this is how you are going to create the truth table for any number of inputs. Hope you have understood and enjoyed this video. Video tutorial please like and subscribe our channel to help us motivate thank you